I love all of you and I'm so happy to be here with you this beautiful morning. Come and sit, sit on your blankets or pillows. If you don't have a blanket, come and sit on your pillow. Rest your hands on your lap. Close your eyes. Remain with your eyes closed and become fully aware of your breath. Slow down your breath in. Slow down your breath out. And then let's do this. Take one hand, place it on the chest. Take your other hand by your waist and your belly. Close your eyes and as you inhale, feel the movement of your breath beneath your palms. And as you exhale, pull the belly in. So think of your breath like a wave. It's a wave of energy flowing through you. Inhale. And exhale. Try to make the exhalation as long as you can. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Opening your eyes, reverse the course of your legs. Take your hands to your knees as you breathe in, arch your whole back with the mouth. As you exhale, round into your back, draw your navel to your spine, tuck your chin. Inhaling, arch. And as you exhale, round. Inhaling, arch. Exhale, round. Once more. Inhaling, arch, and as you exhale, round. Come to center, place your right hand to the left knee. Left hand goes behind you. If you're able to actually wrap your arm around and hold your thigh or hold your foot, then go ahead and do that. As you inhale, twist. You're looking over your left shoulder. Exhaling, swing your arms around, and look over the right shoulder. We're moving with the breath. Inhale to the left, looking over that left shoulder. And exhale to the right, looking over the right shoulder. Once more. Inhale to the left, hold here. Double twist, turning only your head to the right. Full twist, returning your head to the left. Release and change. You're looking over that right shoulder. Double twist, turn only your head to the left. Full twist, turn your head to the right once again. And release. Take your hands and bring them behind you. Have your feet hip width apart. Spread your fingers, press into the palms, and lock your chest. You want to feel like you're wrapping your hands around a branch. So rather than pressing your palms flat, cup your fingers around your back. Let the chest lift. Draw the shoulder blades down, and then you can absolutely stay right here. Or reverse table pose. As you inhale, the hips are lifting. Release your head back. And as you exhale, release. And we'll do that one more time. And again, you can just stay right here if you need to. Inhale to lift. 
And as you exhale, release. Come to your hands and knees. Remember, you can always place a blanket under your knees or a pillow. Your hands are under your shoulders. Inhale. Arching your back, looking up for cat-cow pose. Exhale, round into your back and tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, arch, look it up. And as you exhale, round. Once more, inhaling, arch. And as you exhale, round, hold that rounding. You're pressing out of your hands and breathing into the whole back of your body. Extended cat cow, inhale, raise the right leg high. Exhale, bring the knee to the forehead, forehead to the knee. Inhale to extend. And as you exhale, round. Once more. Inhaling, extend. And as you exhale, round. We're changing sides, left leg. Inhale. Exhale, round. Inhaling, extend. Exhale, round. One more. Inhaling, extend. And as you exhale, round. Return to center. And once again, come and sit for a moment. Give yourself that support underneath you. Always good to do that. It helps to open up the hips. And remember, you can go as high as you might need to. Take the right hand, bring it to the floor. Extend the left arm and from the shoulder, open the arm. Bring the arm right up to the ear if you can. And remember, if you have an issue with your shoulder, you can bring your hand to the shoulder instead. Take a breath. As you exhale, tiptoe your fingers over to the right. Push away from your hand though, so that you want to feel this top side of the body getting a little bit longer and a little bit more open. You're pushing away from the fingers of the right hand, taking that left arm, let the fingertips skim the floor as you circle that arm up and over. And then again, skimming that floor, make that big circle with your whole torso up and over. And then and one more time, creating that circle up and over. Hold here a few more breaths. Release to center. Now take the left leg and bring the left leg out to the left. So hopefully you have either a strap or a scarf or a belt. If you need to, take a moment to go and get something that you can use. And then just always have that with you for these classes because we'll tend to use it quite a bit. Take your belt, strap, whatever you might have. Wrap it around your foot. So your foot is way out to the left. Your right knee is out to the right. Hold on to the strap with both hands and turn your torso to face the strap. Pull on that strap and lift the spinal column. And then just hold that for a moment. So you're feeling the lengthening through the back of your body. Removing that strap. As you, but you might need it. As you inhale, let the arms lift. And now, as you breathe out, fold forward. If you can reach your foot, fold it. If you can't reach your foot, use your strap. And it's fine to have a bend in your knee because you want to stretch the whole back of the body. Couple more breaths here. Inhale to center and release. Place your right hand on your right knee. 
your left hand on your left knee. And again, we're making these circles from the hip. Think of skimming your right thigh with your ribs. Make three circles. Go on your own, at your own pace. Making those deep, deep, deep circles into the hips, from the hips, I should say. And when you're done, take the arms straight up over your head and begin to hinge forward. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Let your fingertips touch the floor. So right now, you want your spine to be long and you want to make sure you stay even on your buttocks. We're going completely forward here. Take a breath. And as you exhale, slide your arms forward. Relax your head completely. Feel that lengthening through the whole back of your body. Walk your hand back, and we're coming to another twist. Your left hand holds your right knee. Your right hand goes behind you, but I want to show you an option here. If you're able to reach the opposite thigh, then feel free, but you have to really be able to reach it. To hold on to that thigh. Pull on your knee and twist. So you're looking over your right shoulder. Let's hold for a few more breaths. And release. Return to center, change sides. That right leg, it goes way out to the right. Left knee goes to the left. Take your strap, whatever you are using. Place it against your foot. Pull on the strap. So your intention here is to create as much length in your torso as you can. And then just find that first. As you inhale, take the arms straight up over your head. And as you exhale, fold forward. If you're not able to reach your foot, wrap your strap around your foot and hold on to the strap. Relax your head completely. Hold here and breathe. Reach through those fingertips to come up. Remove the strap. Left hand on your knee, right hand on your knee. And you're making those three circles. Again, think of skimming your torso against your legs. When you are done with those three circles, return to center. Right hand comes to your knee. Your left hand goes behind you, but if you are able to hold the thigh, feel free to do that. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, pull it against that knee, twist, and look over the left shoulder. Hold here and breathe. Release to center, bend both knees, place both feet on the floor, and let your feet be hip width apart. Your arms come to the outside of the legs, weave them through, and grasp the front of your ankles or wherever you can reach. Pull through the legs into your body and then think of your arms pressing your legs so that the arms are like walls. The same cat-cow movement for the spinal column. Inhale to arch. As you exhale and round, press your knees firmly together. Tuck your chin deep into your chest. Inhaling. Arch. And as you exhale, round. One more. Inhaling. Arch. And as you exhale, once again, rounding. Hold the pose. Keep your chin tucked. Find your breath. Release to center and bring the soles of your feet together. If you can, pull those heels 
as close into your body as you can, but no strain. Your hands wrapped around your knees, and then very, very lightly flutter the legs. Taking your hands to your thighs, you're tilting forward only a little bit, not too much. And release. And again, tilting forward. And release. And then one more time. Tilting forward. And release. Bring your feet forward. Think like you're creating a diamond shape with your legs. One of the few times I ask you to round here. And I would like you to have support for your head. So if your head doesn't touch your feet, you can add blocks, pillows, whatever. Take a breath. And as you breathe out, rounding down, relax your head completely, relax your neck, holding here. Round your way to center. Come once again to your hands and your knees. Move your hands a little bit forward of your shoulders. So remember now, as we come into downward dog pose, that if that is for whatever reason not an appropriate pose for you, simply curl your toes and lean back so you get some length in your spinal column. Otherwise, curling your toes under, take a breath in. And as you exhale, come to a downward dog pose. Remember, it's fine to have a little bend in your knee as you hold this posture. Inhale to upward dog pose, and if you can't do this, bring your knees to the floor instead. And as you exhale, to down dog pose. Again, inhaling, up dog pose and exhale down dog pose and then one more time inhaling up dog pose and exhale down dog pose hold here bend your left knee a little bit push into the right heel change Change again. And change. One more time to each side. Change. So one knee is bent, the other leg is straight. And change. Come to your knees and bring your forearms to the floor. When you bring your forearms to the floor, cross your arms. And see if you can actually wrap your fingers around your elbows. And then without letting the elbows move from that spot, lace your fingers and bring them close. So this is a posture called dolphin. It's a strengthening pose. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. Think it's just like down dog, except you're on your forearms. And again, if you can't quite do this, just lean back instead. But if you can, lift your knees off the floor. Your head stays off the floor as well. And you are in down dog, uh, dolphin pose. Hold here and breathe. A few more breaths. Come to your knees and lie down on your back. When you lie down, you always have that option of placing a thin blanket or pillow under your head. So take a moment to settle here. Make sure the blanket is only under your head or the pillow is only under your head and not your neck. Have both knees bent. Reclining pigeon pose, one of my favorites. Take your right ankle, force it over the edge of your left knee. 
Bring your left knee into your chest. Take the right hand, slip it through the opening of your legs. And you're either holding on to your left knee, or if that doesn't work for you, hold on underneath your knee instead. And then take a moment to pull that leg into your body. You'll feel this through that right side, right hip, right thigh. Rock from side to side. When you rock from side to side, don't lose your balance, but rock it up that you feel this massage of your lower back. Slip your hands behind your knee and straighten the leg. When you straighten the leg, so if you look at me, you'll see that my knee is straight. It's not about pulling your leg to the head. I actually want you to have a straight knee. And then circle the ankle very slowly, very languidly. Circle the other leg. Point. Flex. Point. And flex. Hold here. Bring your arms over your head. Stretch those arms to the wall behind you. Now I am keeping my right foot where it is. As I lower the leg, but not a lot, just a little bit. And then bring that leg to center. Let's do that one more time. Lower the leg. Again, it's not a lot, just a little bit. Bring that leg to center. Bend your knee, and then let's change sides. Your left ankle, it crosses over that right knee. Right knee comes to your chest, the left hand through the leg. And then again, take a moment, pull that leg in towards you so you'll feel this in your hip. And then rock a little bit from side to side. Hold steady. Slide your hands underneath your knee and straighten your leg. And again, you're actually pushing your leg away from you so that you have a straight knee. Circle the ankle. Circle the other way. Point. Flex. Point. And flex. Bring your arms over your head. Again, this is not a big movement because you want that left leg to stay where it is. Lower the right leg a little bit and then bring that leg to center. Again, lower the leg a little bit and bring that leg to center. Bend the knee and have both feet flat on the floor. Take the sole, so let's do this. Where's my strap? Oh, thank you. Oh. Take your strap or scarf or whatever you might have. Bring your knees up to your chest and bring your strap around the ankles of your feet. If you have something under your head, which you probably do, just remove it for now. The strap goes around your ankles and then watch what we do. Bring the soles of your feet together. You're holding on to the strap underneath your legs. So you're in Baddha Konasana, bound ankle pose, Sutta Baddha Konasana, reclining bound ankle posture, and you're holding on to the strap. Imagine that your breath is like a pump. It's pumping you up and down. As you inhale, lift buttocks, hips, middle back, upper back. Exhaling, roll down, but take your time. You're isolating the bones of the spine. And again, inhale to lift. And exhale down. And then one last time. Inhale to lift, hold here. Pull, if you pull on your strap or whatever you're using, you'll find you're able to get a little bit more lifted. Roll down slow. 
when your buttocks meet the floor, move your strap out of the way. Bring your hands to your knees. They come right over the knees, fingers towards your toes. You're rolling the knees actually in the same direction. Usually I have you roll the knees in the opposite direction. But you're rolling your knees in the same direction and I want you to feel that massage of your whole lower back. Reverse. Going in the opposite direction. Place both feet on the floor. Take the arms over your head. Think of reaching beyond your fingertips and extend both legs straight out on the mat. Hold your toes towards your head. Reach with your fingers to the wall behind you. And we're linking the arm to the leg. And by the way, if this becomes too strong in your back, then bend your left knee, placing your left foot on the floor. As you inhale, float the right leg up, right hand up. You're reaching towards your toes, but don't bend your knee to get there. It doesn't matter if you don't touch. As you exhale, press through the right heel, extend through the right arm, and float everything down. Again, inhale to lift. Exhale, down. Once more. Inhale, to lift. And exhale, down. Grasp your right wrist. Stretch through your right heel. And then for a moment, concentrate on getting as much length on the right side of your body as you can. Imagine that I'm holding on to your ankle, pulling that ankle away from you. Release, and we'll change sides. And again, remember, if this feels too strong in your back, you can bend the right leg. And also, by the way, you could put something under your head again, if that's more comfortable for you. Arms over your head. Inhale, left leg, left arm. Exhale, down. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. One more. Inhaling, lift. And exhale, down. Grasp your left wrist. And give an extra little pull. Press through your heel. And then just take a moment. Feel the left through that side. And release. And now lie on, doesn't matter which side. And I have found that the way I prefer to now do this pose, right? So you can do it like this with your head propped up. I and mean, that's how I teach it very often. But lately, I kind of like to do this, to put, a, my, my case, a blanket, but you can also put a pillow under your head. I find that this feels really super comfortable on my neck so that I can focus on the rest of the body. And we're taking side bow pose. Bend your top leg, grasp your ankle. Pressing your top hip forward, lift that leg up and back. You want the leg to pull the arm. So the hip is pressing forward and the leg is being pulled back. Hold here and breathe. Couple of more breaths. Take that top knee, bring it towards your chest. And here, you might need to use your strap again. So you're either holding on to the big toe, holding on to the edge of your foot, or wrapping your strap around your foot as you extend the leg. And now you're pulling that leg 
close to the body. I would like you to have a straight knee here as you hold. So I, I was talking about before we began class, how I spent the whole day gardening. And sometimes when you garden all day, you feel that stiffness in your body. So I have to say that doing this practice with you is kind of getting out all of those kinks for me. Pull that leg into your body, hold here and breathe. Couple of more breaths here. And release. Change sides. Either prop your head up on your hand or rest your head on a cushion. Bending that top leg, once again, grasp your ankle, pulling that leg up and back. And again, you want the leg to pull the arm rather than the arm pulling the leg. Holding a few breaths more. Take that top knee, bring it to your chest. And again, you're holding the big toe or you're holding the foot or you're wrapping your strap around the foot, whichever will enable you to straighten your knee as you straighten your leg and pull that leg in towards your body. Hold here and breathe. Really focus on that releasing, that stretch that comes as you hold this pose. Release and lie down on your abdomen. Prop yourself up on your elbow. So let's do this. Take your hands and once again, as we did earlier, bring your hands over your elbows so that you find the width. And then bring your hands to the floor. Press into your forearms. Lift each leg a little bit. Slide each leg to the wall behind you so you unbunch your hips. Spread your fingers wide. As you inhale, pressing into the palm, straight in the elbows. As you breathe out with control, bring your elbows to the floor. Again, inhale and exhale. And then one more time. Inhale, hold here, find your breath. And if you have osteoporosis or concerns with the density of the bones, poses like this can be very helpful. Release, and now watch as we do this together. So I'm taking my left arm and I'm crossing it in front of me. So I'm on my forearm. I'm taking my right leg. So there's a lot of right and left instruction here. I'm taking my right leg and I'm bringing it at a right angle. So can you see? My ankle and knee are aligned. My ankle and hip are aligned. Right arm is across. Take your left palm to the floor. And as you inhale, straight in the elbow, look over the right shoulder. As you exhale, bend the elbow and turn yourself all the way down. Again, inhale, press into the arm. And as you exhale, lower. Let's do one more. Inhale, hold here. Breathe here. Now, stay here. My hand, this can be strong in your hip. But if you're able to raise the top arm, raise the top arm. Maybe you can only bring your hand to your shoulder. So you're opening the hip here. You're working on some weight bearing. Let that arm lift. Hold and breathe. Release and change. Take that leg in. Now you'll see the back, how the back body looks in this pose. So take that right arm, cross it over. Take the left leg at a right angle. 
left hand comes down. Inhale, push into your hand. Twist to look over the left shoulder. Exhale, turn to the mat. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Stay there or bring your hand to your shoulder or raise the arm. Hold and breathe. Couple more breaths. Release the arm. Take both legs out in front of you. And then do this for a moment. One hand on the other, forehead resting on your knees. And we're coming to a variation of a posture called boat pose. Pressing into the arms as you inhale, raise head, shoulders, chest, both legs. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Once more. Inhale to lift, hold here and breathe. If you want to go a little bit more strongly, slide the arms to the wall behind you. This is a very helpful pose for strengthening the muscles of your back. And release. Turn your head to one side. You can even make a pillow with your arms under your head. Take your hands, place them under your forehead, bend your knees, and then for a moment, like windshield wipers, let your legs rock from side to side. Releasing. Palms to the floor. Press into your palms, and if you can, if your knees will allow you, bring your feet forward, your knees forward, I should say, and come to child pose. And if this is too much for you, then you can just sit with your legs crossed and fold forward, right? Sometimes the knees get in the way. They're not too happy in that posture. So do what's most appropriate for you. And when you're ready, come on up to center. Gather your support again underneath you. And take both legs out. Walk back on your buttocks a little bit. Bend your left leg. Hug that leg close into your body. Wrap your hands around your legs. See if you can reach for your elbows. And then let the foot lift off the floor. Make sure, though, that you're totally, totally relaxing your shoulders. So drop your shoulders from your ears. This is a seated version of half knee chest pose. Take a breath. And as you exhale, bring your forehead towards your knee. If you're able to actually rest your forehead on your knee, then rest your forehead on your knee. Lift your head to center. Take hold of your foot. Take hold of your knee. Try to have your shin in a straight line. Now, you can be here. If you are able to take your foot into the crook of the elbow, then go ahead and do that. Hold the leg into your body, but just be mindful that you're not caving in. You want your spine to be long. If you need to, bend the other knee a little bit, and now lie. You are loosening the hip. Take that same foot and place that foot against your inner thigh. Now, this right leg, it should be in a straight line. And we're taking a pose called Janu Sirshasana, or alternate leg pose. Bring your strap around your foot. 
you're pulling on the strap, elongate the torso, roll the shoulders down and back. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. Feel both the extension of the leg and the extension of the spinal column. As you inhale, take the arms straight up over your head. And here I want you to remember, it's fine to bend your knee somewhat. As you exhale, fold down. If you're not able to reach your foot, you can use your strap. You can also bend your knee more. Let the head hang free. Hold here and breathe. To come out of this pose, actually round your way up. Let your hands slide up the leg as you come to center and we'll change sides. Take the right leg, bring it in. Wrap your arms around that leg and then elongate your torso, lift your foot so it dangles. Relax your shoulders, bring your forehead towards your knee. Hold and breathe. Lift your head to center. Take hold of your foot. Take hold of your knee. But if you're able to go more deeply, you can place that foot right in the crook of your elbow. And then back. So that, once again, you are loosening the head. That's it. Place your foot against your thigh. Make sure your left leg is in a straight line. Take whatever you're using, wrap it around your foot. Keep that lift in your spinal column. Relax your shoulders from your ears. Coming into Janusya Shasana, or alternate leg pose, inhale. Taking those arms straight up over the head, and as you exhale, fold down. And again, remember, it's fine for you to bend your knee. You can even put a pillow or blanket under your knee. Relax your head completely. We want this pose to be a stretch for the whole back of the body, not just the back of your leg. So you feel that lengthening in the back body as well. Hold here, breathe here. And then again, round your way up. Your hands slide up the leg as you come to center. Bend both knees. My teacher in Florida used to call this next pose balancing A. It, it is a balance. Bring your feet closer to your body. Wrap your hands around your knees. If you can't go around your knees, you could go underneath. Now, right now, your back will be quite rounded. Come up onto your toes. I'm going to turn to the side, just so you can see. Come up onto your toes. Try to elongate your torso. Flex your feet and come to balance. So you need to be mindful here of keeping the spine long because if you round the back, you might tend to roll backwards. And it is a balancing pose. Find your breath. And release. If you have something under your buttocks, you should remove it. If you want to have something under your head, though, make sure you can reach it. Extend both legs and extend the arms. Tuck the forehead and chin into the chest. You are rounding your way down. Slow, slow, slow. Try to feel each vertebra making contact with the ground. Let the arms remain up towards the ceiling. 
flex both feet. So remember, right, we did this as a single leg or much earlier. Bend both knees and lift both legs straight up to the ceiling. Keep reaching through the fingertips, but we're not bringing the legs or arms all the way down, just a little bit. As you inhale, lower the legs a little bit. As soon as you feel your lower back lifting, don't go any further. And as you exhale, bring the legs and the arms towards each other. Again, as you inhale, remember to move from the breath and exhale. One more. Inhale. And this time, hold your legs wherever you can reach, but with straight knees. So I'd rather you hold on here with a straight knee than to the ankles with the bent knee. You can even hold under your thighs. You just don't want to hold under your knees because that causes the knees to bend. And as you hold, wherever you're holding, think of pushing your knees away from you rather than pulling your knees towards you. As you hold, separate your legs and circle the ankles slowly. And then circle the opposite way. Let your big toes come together, heels touch. Toes, heels, one more. Toes and heels. Wrap your hands underneath your knees. Bend your knees. So now your legs are resting in the cradle of your arms and rock from side to side. Take your time. Couple of more rocks. Releasing, bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees wing out to the sides. And if you don't have anything under your head, you might want to do that now because we'll be moving into relaxation very shortly. Let your hands come to rest on your belly. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. And just for a few moments, be totally absorbed in the movement of your breath beneath your hands. Keeping the soles of your feet together for as long as you can. Slide your legs forward till the knees are straight. Lace your fingers under your head. Bring your elbows close together. Take a breath. As you exhale, your arms are literally lifting your head off the floor. Your chin tucks into the notch of your throat. Letting your arms do the work, turning your head to the right. Center and to the left. And center. Lower your head to the neck. And now prepare for Shavasana, it's cold or relaxation. So if you want to put a blanket under your head, put a blanket under your head. If you want to put a, put a pillow or blanket under your knees, then go ahead and do that. So settle yourself completely. So I want you to feel the entire weight of your body melting down into the earth. Allow the legs to roll away from each other, the arms to roll away from your sides. Let the back of your hands rest on the floor, palms facing up. Close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, become aware of your breath. So always, the breath is the refuge for the body and the mind. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. As you breathe out, relax your hands and your feet. 
Take another deep breath in. And as you breathe out, relax your arms and your legs. Inhale again. As you exhale, relax your shoulders and your hips. Inhale. And as you exhale, relax your spine. Breathe in again. Breathing out, relax the front of your body. Inhale. And as you exhale, relax your head. Take another breath in. And as you breathe out, relax the space behind your eyes. Inhale again. And as you exhale, relax the jaw. Focus in now on your breathing. And just as we began, envision your breath like a wave. A wave of energy flowing through you. With every breath you take in, you're breathing energy into your body. And every time you breathe out, you're releasing any lingering tension or tightness of any kind. Be absorbed in the breath. Let the breath become a refuge for your mind. Take a long, slow, deep breath in, opening your mouth, sigh the breath out. Take another deep breath in, and sigh it out. Move your fingers, your toes, your head, Give yourself a deep stretch in any way that feels good. When you're ready, come to a seated posture, legs crossed, eyes closed. Take a breath for your body. A breath for your mind. And a breath for your soul. Take one more deep breath in. And as you breathe out, open your eyes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Enjoy you. the sunshine. Enjoy the warmth. Hi. I'll see you guys. Bye. Well, everybody. <laughs> Chair yoga. Hi, everybody. Hi, Thank you. Hi, everybody. Big clap, you guys. Hi, everybody. Big clap. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure.